All right, so now I'm going to show you how you can create your own baby shower printables using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. I have another video showing how to create circular tags, and right now I'm going to show you how to create square or rectangular tags. We're going to be recreating this Thanks for Coming, Sally's Baby Shower with the Baby Sheet, and the Umbrella, Katie's Baby Shower. Once you know how to make these two basic tags, you should be able to make virtually any square tag you want. We're going to start by um, downloading a font. Okay. When we um, create baby shower tags, it is fun to mix and match fonts, and I just did a quick search for download free font. And um, Fonts 101 is one that I use quite often, and we're going to use the Baroque script. And this is a, a font I use often, and we're going to go ahead and save this, and we're going to save this to our desktop so we know where to find it. We're going to minimize this, and we're going to open up our Baroque script. And from here, we're going to extract this to our desktop. Okay. Once we've extracted to our desktop, I am running Windows 7, so this is how you can do that for Windows 7. I'm going to right click and click on Install. I already have it installed. We're going to replace it just so you can see how you can download and how easy it is to download a new font. Once we have all the fonts we want to use, we can very easily insert a table. And we're going to insert it three across. The very first thing we're going to do is highlight this table and click on Table Properties. What we want to do is click on Options and we want to allow spacing between cells. I don't know if you can see this because it's pretty faint, but there's actually spacing in between these spell cells, which is going to make it much easier to cut and ensure you don't actually cut into any of the borders or the shading. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK and change that to a 0.3. We're now going to click on Borders and Shading, and we're going to create the border to be a very light gray. If we wanted to, we could have no border at all and just use a paper cutter to cut. I like having a little bit of a border, so we're going to have a very light gray. Typically, you'd also um, have a decorative border. We're going to show you how to do that a little bit later, so we don't need to show you now. But you know, you could do a, a decorative border in terms of double lines, um, squiggly lines. I've used pretty much all of these, as well as you can change the weight. Okay, but we're going to again keep this as a very light one. I'm going to click on OK. Now let's go ahead and create this Katie's baby shower first. Clearly, the very first thing we need to do is insert our picture. So once again, we're going to go to our browser and we're going to type in cartoon pink umbrella. I'm going to cl click on cartoon pink umbrella. We're going to click on images and we're going to download our pink umbrella image. Now, I definitely want to point this out. Something to keep in mind is that you do want to look for PNG files or PNG pictures. Clicker, C-L-K-E-R.com, um, only has PNG. And the reason why you want the PNG is because it doesn't have any background. So it will just take the image so you can very easily move it around with your text. And you don't have sort of a white background or a block when you crop pictures. Um, which if you watch my circular tags, you'll see how you can do that. So the PNG files are very good to have. We're going to go ahead and download that and click on small. And as you can see here on top, this is a PNG file. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that. And again, if this was a GIF or if this was a JPEG, I would actually have um, a white background. So for instance, if I changed the shading to a blue, you can see that we don't have that white background around that. And that's what I was talking about with the PNG. Okay, just wanted to show you that. And we're going to go ahead and change the shading back to white. Okay. Um, so now that we have our image, the first thing we're going to do want to do, since this is a PNG, is we're going to click on format and we're going to click on text wrapping and we're going to say in front of text. Now, if this was a GIF or a JPEG, we'd probably want to have that behind the text so that the text wouldn't, um, you could write over that sort of white background. But again, it's a PNG, so we're going to put that in front of text. And now we can very easily just move this around. Okay. Um, now, what we want to do is put in our border. So, what we're going to do is insert shape and we want to insert our rounded rectangle. And we're going to very easily just 
add our rounded rectangle. We want to, it's going to drop us into format. We're going to do shape fill of no fill, shape outline of this nice pretty pink, and we want to do the weight of this as a two and a quarter point. Okay. Clearly we want to make this a little bit bigger and we can change the size. And again, if you didn't have any borders, you wouldn't really have to worry about this either. But I like having borders to help me cut with the paper cutter. Now what we want to do is insert a text box. And when we insert the text box, we're going to draw a text box and we're going to draw it in here. And we're going to type in Katie's baby shower. 2, 10, 10, okay? Now, um, a couple things. Clearly, this line spa spacing isn't great, so we're gonna highlight the text, we're gonna go to home, and we're gonna change our line spacing options. And we're gonna make this zero and single. And again, you might not default to this, for some reason, mine always defaults to that. Just wanna show you that in case you run into it. We're gonna wanna center this, and we're gonna wanna change our Katie's to that Baroque script that we just downloaded. Okay, We want to change the text color to a gray, and we want to change the um, date to be maybe a nine point font. Right? Now we want to add in a symbol to actually make this a date and have that separators in, have the separator in to make it a date. I personally like the you know, sort of small symbols versus just the general lines or dashes that you typically see. Next thing we want to do is clearly we don't want to have this great big ugly text box. So we're going to click on format, we're going to click on shape fill, no fill, and we're going to click on shape outline, no outline. Okay. Very, very easy to create that rectangular Katie's baby shower. And again, we can clearly just move these around. Now another point is if you wanted to move around the images in a very fine grained fashion, Maybe make this bigger perhaps, and then move it around center. You can click on the control button and click on the arrows. And this is a way to, again, if you're making tags or your own baby shower printables, you do need to get the spacing kind of just right. So holding down the control key and moving the arrows is a way you can do that in a very fine grained fashion. Now let's create our Thanks for Coming Sally's Baby Shower. Um, what we first want to do is um, right click and click on borders and shading. And we want to add our shading. Now something to point out is this will default to no color. What you do want to do is default to a white color. You can't just default to no color. And then you want to add in what design you want. And we'll use the dark trellis. And what color do you want to use? And we're going to add in sort of this light green. Okay. And rather than applying it to the whole table, because um, we don't want to mess up our other tag, and typically you would want to put it for your whole table if you know, you're creating just one baby shower tag, but for the point of this presentation, we're going to add it just to this cell. Okay, So now we have the background. We could very easily just select this and move this over um, to, to make the spacing a little better. Now we want to insert a, I'm so sorry, we want to insert a shape and we want to insert our plaque shape. So we're going to start at the top here, go all the way across and what we want to do is do our shape outline to a green and we want to change the weight to two and a quarter and actually I did not want that green color so let's change that to and Well, we'll just go ahead and keep it at that color for now. But again, you can absolutely play with, play with the colors um, very, very easily by more colors. And then here we can go into the standard, maybe click on that one, there we go. Now what we can do is insert a text box and we want to draw a text box once again. And once again, we're going to say, thanks for coming, Sally's baby shower, 1, 14, 10. Okay. 
And once again, our line spacing is off, so we're gonna click on our home button. We're gonna click on our line spacing options. We're gonna make this a zero and make this single, okay? And we want to change the color to that same gray color, and we want to center this. I'm a big fan of mixing and matching multiple different fonts, and what we wanna do is change this to a Sago script, which is what I use down there. So we're gonna go down to our Sago script, and that's a little big, so we're gonna change that to a 10 point font, and we're gonna bold this, and we're gonna use that same green color. And we wanna change the date to a nine point font, and we want to insert our symbol. Now, once again, we have that ugly text box, so we're going to click on Format, Shape Outline, No Outline. Okay, we could do also Shape Fill, No Fill. All right. Now all we have to do is add our little feet. So we can go back and type in Cartoon Baby Feet. And we can go ahead and click on our image, and that's gonna click us once again into our clicker, which gives us the PNG file formats, which is what we want. And we want more of a green rather than the purple, so we're gonna go ahead and click on our green, and we're gonna download, we're gonna download the small. We're going to right click, copy, go into Word, and paste. Okay, and as you can see here, if I default to not, um, uh, formatting in front of text or behind text, it's very easy to move this around. Also, as you saw, this got cut off because I have fill, white fill, inside of here. What we want to do is click on format and we want to do text wrapping in front of text or behind text. If you do in front of text, it is much easier to grab control of um, the images. As you can see, if you watch the circular tag, it's a little bit more difficult or tricky to um, grab the image if it's behind text on a regular basis. So if I can, I like to do it in front of text if I have a PNG file. And you can simply move it around. Now let's say this is the tag we want. We can very easily highlight and, oops, Let's go ahead and highlight this one. Highlight, copy, and control V for paste in order to paste the tags and create more than one tag, okay? Again, that was just a very easy highlight, control C to copy, and then paste. Um, let's get those left. Okay, I hope you found this useful. You can find lots of other um, great baby shower ideas from my website, diy-babyshower.com. You can also get examples of some of the favors and tags that I've created using nothing but PowerPoint and or Microsoft Word. Thanks so much, and uh, once again, I hope you found this informative.